abortion rights are taking center stage on the campaign trail. Yeah, yesterday, former President Donald Trump said that he is proud to be the person responsible for ending Roe v. Wade, but made it clear he would not push for a national abortion ban. Danielle Jaros joins us at the live desk with what's next for the candidates on the path to the presidency. Danielle? Well, yesterday, the former president did lay out his position in a four-minute long video on Truth Social. In that video, he says that he is proud to have appointed the Supreme Court justices who did overturn Roe, ending the nationwide right to an abortion. But throughout this video, he never said how he would handle it uh, if an abortion ban was passed federally and ended up on his desk, like the 15-week ban that was proposed by Senator Lindsey Graham. Many states will be different. Many will have a different number of weeks, or some will have more conservative than others, and that's what they will be. At the end of the day, this is all about the will of the people. The Biden campaign reacted quickly, releasing a video message arguing that if Republicans did pass a federal abortion ban, they say that Trump would sign it. And they released a new campaign ad featuring a Texas woman who says that her life was on the line when she couldn't access abortion care in her state. The nation's leading anti-abortion group, Susan B. Anthony Pro-Life America, posted this long statement on their website after seeing Trump's video. They said in part, quote, we are deeply disappointed in President Trump's position. Unborn children and their mothers deserve national protections and national advocacy. Meanwhile, Planned Parenthood had a much different position. They posted on X, quote, Trump is lying about not supporting a national abortion ban. One thing that is true, Trump and his allies will say whatever they think will help them win. Now, President, former President Trump clearly does see abortion as an animating political issue heading into the November election because subsequent posts on Truth Social highlight how important he says it is for Republicans to, quote, take the issue out of play, saying we cannot lose elections on an issue that should have always been decided by the states. Matt and Sam, in that video message, Trump never said how he plans to vote in Florida this November, which does have an abortion question on the ballot.